Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Don't worry about the glasses, I'll take it off. Can't really see too well. So I wanna make sure that I'm focused for you guys and everything is going smoothly. Since I'm focused, I'm gonna take this off. We are gonna be trying out some Tarte products. I never really use any of Tarte products before except the one of the palettes. This is the only thing that I have from the collection. This is the Tardis palette in bloom i'm gonna use this as well in the video and i wanted to try something else now they have a few things out in the collection make believe in yourself collection and the only thing that i picked up from that collection this palette here the colors are really nice i think they are shimmer shades and oh they have all shimmer shades and except one which is a matte shade and this is the palette some of the shades in here, um, I can't work with them, so I would have to mix something. I wanted to always try Makeup by Shayla palette, and these are the shades. It smells like chocolate, and I really like the packaging. All of the packaging that looks like this. See, they have that round thing. I picked up the Tarte Rainforest of Sea foundation. This is the shade Deep Sand. I picked all these items up online so i'm not really sure if this is gonna go for my skin tone but this is it this is a little drop thingy and you just press on top and it goes down like this see i also picked up a concealer this is also uh rainforest of the sea concealer and this is deep to set my face i'm gonna be using this primer this is from mac i'm gonna take a little drop and put on my face Kind of watery. Okay, so I'm gonna use my beauty blender, and this is clearly not my shade. I'm gonna still use it, I'm going to try to work with it. Yeah, I'm not liking that foundation. Mm. All right, so this is the concealer. This is deep. The concealer is a little darker than the foundation. Uh, this concealer has a very strong smell. These two products are not working for me. I feel like my face looks a little too ashy. Concealer is a little bit too watery under my eyes. I'm gonna set my entire face with Laura Mercier setting powder. Foundation look a little better because I had this in the following two minutes. We have to work so hard to get this thing to work. So this is what it looks like after I set it. I'm gonna go into my Bloom palette and I'm gonna take this brown color here from the palette and I'm gonna use this as a transition. I use Rebel and Leader. I mix these two colors together to get this transition color. So we're gonna try the new palette. I'm gonna try Dream, which is this color here. Okay, so this palette has a little um, fallout. So it's shimmer shade. I guess it will have some type of fallout. It's a really beautiful color. I feel like it's not gonna work 
too much on its own. You have to really build it up to get a color like this. So the lash that I use is from Coco Lashes. The style is 502. We are going to try out Quanto Palette from Makeup by Sheila. And if you guys don't know who Makeup by Sheila is, she's very popular here on YouTube. We're going to use the contour, this one here. Ooh, this is dark. Very pigmented, so I'm not going to dip back in that brush. That contour shade is no joke, it's really dark. You're going to use the highlight. This is the highlight here. So this is the final look I came up with. My hair is a little messy right now, so this is why I put my wrap on my head. The lipstick that I'm wearing is from Wet n Wild. This is a mega last lipstick. This is the color Berry Recognized. Don't like the foundation. It's not my shade and I had to work too much to get my color back. So I used the Laura Mercier. Thank God I had this right here because I don't know what would I have done without my Laura Mercier. And I really like this powder for things like this. Go back to the store and see what shade I actually am in this foundation and I will get a sample and I will try to see if it's worth the money the next time because I'm not going to pay for it again. I work with it and it looks really nice on camera. Concealer, I really don't like it neither. I feel like the concealer is too watery for under the eyes. I like a concealer that is a little thick. This is just my personal opinion. Whatever I'm sharing with you guys, you don't have to take what I'm saying. It's not working for me. If it works for you, you use what you have. So the next thing that we tried out was Contour Palette by Makeup Sheila and I really do love this palette. This is really for women of color and I'm so happy that she came up with a palette like this. I'm excited to try all the other shades, especially the banana shade right there. The highlighter, like come on now, like serious. The palette is okay. I feel like if you're gonna get these shades popping, you need some type of glitter or something to put on top of it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.